In this episode, let's dive into the world of irresistible guacamole, a healthy summertime staple not only in Mexico where it originated but around the globe. The superstar ingredient of this recipe used to be known as alligator pears due to its coarse, bumpy texture and dark skin, the avocado. Despite not being sweet, it is considered a fruit and continues to ripen after harvesting. Arriving at the supermarkets often unripe, it is important to choose the right avocado depending on when you are planning to eat it. Avocados with light green skin that are very firm are unripe and will need to sit a few days before eating. Ripe avocados have dark green, almost black skin and when you gently squeeze them, they give in to that pressure like a ripe peach. Moreover, the stem comes off easily and if it's green underneath, you got good chances of holding a great avocado in your hands. If dark however, it might be a bad one. Use the latter approach only if you're planning to buy and eat the avocado right away as the flesh gets bad rather quickly once exposed to air. Let's slice it open and with a gentle twist separate one half from the pit. Yes, it began to get bad, but luckily it didn't ruin everything, so grab a spoon and scoop the good flesh out. Don't bother peeling off the skin, the flesh of an avocado is smooth and buttery when ripe a spoon will absolutely suffice. By the way, did you know that avocados are one of the few fruits that contain healthy, unsaturated fats? And these good fats help to lower undesirable LDL cholesterol when eaten in place of saturated fats. Moreover, Haas avocados provide 20 different nutrients, many of which are considered heart healthy. Next, grab a fork or better a metal whisk like this and start mashing those avocados until they reach your preferred level of creaminess. Chunky or smooth, it's your call. To turn this creamy pile of avocados into guacamole, we gotta add some flavor and texture to it. Let's start with a humble onion, which will add a zing and wake up your taste buds. Finally, chop and transfer 40 grams or one quarter of a cup into the bowl. Do so for a handful of fresh cilantro as well and include most of its stem. It will not only add some freshness, but also texture to our guac. Next up, a handful or 60 gram of cherry tomatoes. I like their deeper flavor, but you can go with a normal tomato. Just make sure to use a ripe one and also discard most of its water. Transfer to the bowl and follow up with an optional but highly recommended medium red chili pepper. Half of it is just right in my case. Feel free to add more or less according to your preference. And lastly, let's grab a lime, soften it by rolling and squeeze out its fresh juice, which will add a tangy citrus twist to our avocados. Sprinkle it over the bowl, add some salt and pepper to taste and mix well until all the flavors come together into something uniquely refreshing, delicious and healthy. Before I let you go, let's see what happens when I finally unpack my mortar and pestle and use it to combine the flavors of our guacamole ingredients. Add chopped chili peppers, onions and cilantro into the mortar and smash them as long as possible or till you get a paste close to this. Squeeze out the juice of a lime, pray to the avocado gods for perfect ripeness before slicing up this unpredictable fruit and transfer its flesh into the mortar as well and follow up with salt and chopped tomatoes. Sprinkle the lime juice over and mix well. Now let's line up both versions and taste test. The guacamole with the chopped ingredients was an exciting mix of flavors and texture that hit your taste buds at different times depending on whether you bite on an onion, cilantro or chili. The second version which combined most flavors into a paste by smashing the ingredients resulted in a tasty but rather mellow compared to the first version almost boring flavor. No pleasant surprises when biting on the different ingredients since they became one. Also, since most of the texture was eliminated, you end up with a rather smooth guacamole which is also a bit more watery as you smash the juice out of the onion. I personally prefer the version without additional smashing of the ingredients and suggest you save yourself the time and energy. However, if you are not a fan of onions or cilantro at all, you might prefer pureeing them to a paste which will yield a less pungent flavor profile. Either way, this guacamole recipe yields two servings of around 200 calories with 18 grams mostly healthy unsaturated fats, 14 grams carbohydrates and 2 grams protein per serving. I really hope that you will give this recipe a go. Not only is it tasty and easy to make, but also good for your health. Buen provecho!